Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about Azure Front Door service. Azure Front Door is a layer 7 load balancer, meaning that it's an application level load balancer. Basically, what you can do with this is that you can make load balancing decisions based on the HTTP request that your front door receives. And this has a faster failover because uh, it's not like Azure Traffic Manager because it does not use DNS. And this also has many other features as well, such as dynamic site acceleration to improve the performance of your applications and many other security features as well, a firewall and DDoS protection features, and also cookie-based session affinity and caching. Azure Front Door is not a regional service. It is a global service, just like Traffic Manager. So basically, the only location that you need to specify is the resource group location. You're not specifying a region when you create this resource on Azure. And basically, this is not a resource on Azure as well, like just like in traffic manager what you're creating is a profile to already deployed regions globally in all azure edge locations now we have an understanding of what azure front door is let's go into the demo so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create two app services and then we're going to create azure front door and connect these two applications and these two applications are sitting in a backend pool and then what you're going to do is we're going to stop application 2 and then we'll be able to see Azure Front Door using its health probes will determine which service to use. So let's get started. And I have written this script here to deploy the resources that we need on Azure. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create this resource group. I'm going to call it Front Door Demo. And then we're going to create this app service plan and then we're going to create this app service one and this application two so let me copy this command here and uh, paste it in my powershell as you can see the resources just got deployed and let me go to my azure portal and to resource group section you can see that my resource group is here and uh, if i go here you'll see there are two web applications and one app service plan and now the next thing that I'm going to do is if I click here and go to this link it's just the uh, the default page now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this message here so that we can identify which app service this is so let me do that now and I have done that change and I'm going to click on this URL as you can see I'm getting this message so that we can identify which um, app service this is. All right. Now, the next thing that we, I'm going to do is creating the front door service. For that, I'm going back to my resource group and then I'm going to click create button here and then I'm going to search for front door. As you can see, there is a small description on what front door is. Usually we're using Azure front door to application scale and availability and uh, for security reasons and SSL offloading. That's what they have mentioned here. I'm going to click create. As you can see, there's nothing much here to configure on the first basics page. So I'm going into the next one. So this is the main page the UI for configuring all the uh, front ends, back ends and uh, routing rules. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here to create a front end. I'm going to call it my uh, cool app, something like that. So it is available and I don't want any session affinity and I don't want any firewall for this one. And the next thing that we are going to do is Basically, we have to add the backend pools. Only then we can configure routing rules. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this one here and I'm going to add this backend pool. And for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, give it a name. Let me call it my backend pool one. And then I'm going to add this backend. And there are many types of backends here. As you can see, it could be an app service or a cloud service, or it could be even a uh, storage account or it could be another application gateway as well you can combine these load balancing services on azure as you can see and as i said before this is a global load balancer an application load gateway is a local load balancer a regional load balancer 
based on the scenario that you're going to use you can combine these services together and also it could be a api management as well there are many other services here that you can use i'm going to use app service because that is the backend that i have created for this and the host name is demo application one and i'm going to keep all these settings as default let me click add here as you can see i have just added one host and I'm going to add the next one as well and it's also an app service and it's the uh, the second one as you can see I want to click add here front door has health probing mechanism to check uh, whether your backends are healthy or not so here basically what you, you can specify the uh, the interval that front door checks your backends to validate its health so I'm going to add five here and also there are load balancing configuration see if you go here you'll be able to look into this load balancing settings as well in this video i'm not going to focus on this so i'm going to click add now i have added front ends and back ends the next thing that we have to do is creating the routing rules so this is basically how your front ends match the back ends so what i'm going to do is i'm going to call this um routing one let's uh, keep all this as default because I don't want any changes and I'm going to change this forwarding protocol to match the request and I don't want any caching or URL rewrite as well so let me click add all right the validation is okay now let me click create and create this front door service as you can see the, uh, the service just got created let me click on go to resource um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this link here and as you can see I'm getting this message. If it's a new configuration that you recently created it might not be ready yet. So let's wait for some time like 3 to 5 minutes and come back and let's see how it works. I only had to wait around 1 minute. Here as you can see we are getting the response from application 2. So the front row works. Now let me go back to my front row service and show you a few statistics that we see here so if you go, come here you'll be able to see the backend health percentage so as you can see we have the uh, the two hosts my application one and application two and their health percentage represented in this graph since i have added five seconds for the health probing interval so this will be updated every five seconds let me close it and come here to this area settings area you can click here and go to the front door designer that we used for creating these routing rules backend pools and front ends and also there are many security features on front door i'm not going into these features in this video let me know in the comments below if you want to learn more about these things and also since this is an application layer load balancer, you can write rules based on the HTTP request. Such as um, if you go here to add, you can give a name um, and you can, when you add these conditions, you can specify things like um, the request body and query string and method and path and based on that and based on these, you can change the backend pools and things like that. So basically the point here is that you can make decisions based on the HTTP packet or HTTP request that comes in to our front door service. All right, the next thing that we're going to try out is that I'm going back to my resource group. And to my second application. And I'm going to stop this service. Now let's go ahead and click this link. And uh, it's giving me this error. And let's go to front door and refresh it. And as you can see, we are getting this page from application 1 because we have stopped our application 2. So it's providing us a really fast failover. So now let me go to front door service again. If I scroll down a bit, you will see here in backend health percentage, our application 2 
health is going down, as you can see, because we have stopped it. Hope you learned something new today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you want to be updated with future videos that I'm planning to do, please subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching.